Well, we're here today in Reading and I'm just waiting for Jordan but there's an old swimming pool across the road and we're just waiting to see if we can find a little way in. It looks like it's actually been demolished at the back so I might have missed the opportunity on this one but here we go, here it is. Bloody noisy as usual. We've got to get over that fence somehow and inside. No. Come here a while back, but left it too late. Look, so it would have been the steps all around the top. What is it? Dangle drop. Dangle drop, yeah. There we go. Shimmy pooly. Are you going to be all right, dangle drop in there? If you want, I'll. You can do my shoulder, do a shoulder down if you want. I should be all right. Yeah. All right. That's it. Mm. You okay? Yep. Yeah. It's not too bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah, but this is going to be gone soon. They're in the process of demolishing it. You can see the JCPs out the back there. It's a bit of a shame, but I suppose the money value for a house. Yeah. Imagine the house you could build here and how much value that would be worth. Oh, crazy. Yeah. It's like it's like got styro styrofoamy type stuff. The bottom. It's like a pebble dashed effect. Yeah, it's like shh and spray it on with like a, a pie. Mm. Mm. So exploring with Aish. Exploring with Aish and Jenny V and Jordan. Yeah. Well, yes. They put those floaty pipes, don't they, on those?
floaty pipes. God, look at this. Look at this. So the building would have gone out even further. Probably would have gone to, uh, I suppose, changing rooms. Probably the changing rooms back here. I don't know that. Because you have to come in through the front, walk all the way through where people are to change out the back. It's a bit weird. So. Hmm. <laughs> Oops, hello. But th this was an old school, you know, used to have little dressing areas here and you could walk across the top. So this was a very old school baths, swimming pool. Don't, they don't make them like this anymore. Mm. Yep. Slipping, slipping on a rock. So it's going to be quite interesting seeing inside the uh, little rooms up here. Pay to get in, manager's office. Oh Christ, look at the size of the, the thing that goes over the pool. I wonder, I wonder, was this ever, yeah, it was connected, it was indoors. It was indoors. Yeah. God, that would have been a, that's a hell of a weight, that I bet. Yeah. And toilets. Toilet space. Hmm. Yes, yeah, ticket office. Ticket office on the right hand side. Anyone remembers this? Old school, this place. Yeah. Coming in through these doors, look. The last time anyone will ever see these doors with a pool behind it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, subscribe. <laughs> Jenny V. Exploring with Jenny V. Mm -hmm. oh, the keys here. Yeah. Ratchet spanner, weight keys, whistles, T bar key. Yeah. Ooh. So, all the way up to the upstairs. Bits you've never seen, probably. Bits the public never got to see. Here we go. Little window. Toilet. Upstairs toilet. Door cupboard, little room, and a big room. And a nice view outside. and looked like there was plumbing coming in here so it might have been a kitchen or something might have been a, another toilet but yeah lots of vents into the ceiling space old school really old school and it looks like they've had new wood and stuff put in here in the past maybe because it was sort of bow a bit but yeah and check out this basement then and the pump room if if such a thing is there you're going down oh is it safe i didn't notice that going into pump house going down where does that go open now and you will be in the sky <laughs> Jesus, okay. um, yes, if any of you still have hearing left, I'm, I apologise, 
Most profusely. That looks like a boiler to me. It's like a, one of those heat chambers to keep the water warm. Yeah, it's a boiler, isn't it? Yeah. It's a boiler. It's just missing like the actual one of the, the front the bit. Valve. Jesus, you're farting in, in front of me all the time. <laughs> tomato farts, that's all I'm going to say. It smells like tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the gas charger bit. Yeah. It's been reinforced down here. Yeah? Reinforced. And you should be able to walk underneath the swimming pool or something. Well, maybe. It should be like a pipe trench on the exterior of it. It depends. They might not have designed, they might not have designed them like that. Because it's, it's not a leisure centre. It is a, it's just a cheap little, cheap old fashioned pool, isn't it? Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Here we go. What's going on here then? I don't think this is even in the direction of the swimming pool, mate. No, it's not. This is a tunnel that's got nothing to do with the swimming pool. I don't think. That's got a, those have got drain pipes in them that pass in. Is this in the direction that the swimming pool goes? I don't think it is. Well, I feel like we're is going it, like, down the main road. We're going down the bloody main road, yeah? This is people's houses. We're under people's houses, yeah? Hello. 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 Oh, look, it goes off up there. And it goes down into a sump room here, look. Sump room with pumps. Oh. Bloody hell. I, I think they've stored this stuff here because they didn't have the because space. Have the that's a big um, sand filter that. Yeah, hang on. Oh, it's not too bad actually. If you have a sand filter. Yeah. So, is it going to get deeper? Don't get deeper. Does it get deeper? Yeah, it does a bit, yeah. Oh. I'm stepping on the backs of my shoes now to, to avoid getting wet. Oh, that's completely curved without the new tunnel. Oh, no, this tank's probably out of use. It's also got a plastic tag next to it. Yeah, plastic ones, yeah. Um, this goes out to a door which goes up to where they've been smashing the concrete in. So that's where the concrete's been smashed, look. Smashed down. And what's that? Keep this plant room tidy. I don't know what's down there then. Is that a crawl space? To go towards the, the, the pool? It's a crawl yeah, part of it. There's normally this crawl space that is so you can get to the pipes and so now we're going to the exterior of the pool. Bloody hell. Rivermead calibration of top axe chemicals controller. Mm. Oh, did they have an automatic dosing system? Set point chlorine free, manual running chlorine free. Mm. Uh, I've been for an automatic dose system, I don't know. Yeah. Like a dosing pump where you get your chlorine tablets in it. Mm. That sees that. Yeah. Watch out, it gets a bit deeper down here. Yeah, that'll have been the original sand filter there, and then they've got the parts on the walls. So that must be the original pipes going up to yeah. the pool. But we've cut them off, haven't they? So now you can fill that pool, it all drains it. Oh, look, and pool ventilation controls, look. And they've cut the pipe, they've cut the wires off because they don't want anyone trying to sort of play around and turn it on. Wow. Whoops, uh, Daisy, watch out, that's not connected, that pipe. Can you get, is there any way to get to that bit in there? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, it, do, it goes down round the corner and to outdoors where they've, they've smashed with the, with the, um, uh, JCB, so yeah. it's like you can see. Oh. Does that go anywhere? Yeah, it's got a corridor right down the end. Yeah, I think it's a dead end at the end of it. Could be a dead end, I'm not sure. No, there's a bit of service tunnel for pipe it work, won't it? It's weird though, because it, this seems to go right angles to where I think we should be. Yeah, I'm a bit confused. Do you think the 
the, the trap on the sink or slab. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to let them go down there because if it's just a tunnel like we're already walking in, it's going to be quite restricted space, I think. Let them do that. But I never expected to see this. Oh, Ooh, there's water in it. Yeah, but that's surely just draining off the pipe. Surely that's not actual mains. I don't know, mate. I mean, that looks pretty. It's pretty big. Yeah, but do you think it's cut off? Well, yeah, that's bits left in it. But if you open that one and that one, you could end up getting mains. I don't know. I doubt it. I think it'll be switched up. Yeah. No, I felt pressure going. Psh! Pressure went down there, right? Oh, the mains going to do that. Let's turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, there's mains water in here. That's oh, what dear. I was saying. You could fill, if all of this pipe work was still connected, you can normally still fill it up because you normally have, still have the pipes connected to fill it up. But in this instance, it disconnected it all. Yeah. But you won't be able to now anyway because all pipes are cut in the pumping, so all you end up doing is. Flooding. That's a great, a flooding plant room. Flood the plant room, yeah. Oh dear. What is this? This is a. This is just a. Um, a vent. Vent, yeah, pit and vent. It'd be like, it'll have a smoke vent, maybe we'll get to the ground fire. Mmm. That's that then. That is, that's yeah so there we go folks that's it that's all she wrote and I need to charge this camera up otherwise I won't be filming any more stuff so uh, <laughs> oh let's have a look at this room oh look main main like water taps in as well that's gas, you've got to be careful with that. It has been it has been capped. But yeah. But yes, this place is definitely in a state whereby people buggering about would be able to cause a whole lot of a whole lot of heartache. Probably locked, padlocked on the other side, I expect. Ooh, right then. So that's it then folks, I'm going to say goodbye here and we'll catch you all later.